Yes. Audible? Yes. Well, you theaters, how many of you know? How many of you want to know the insight of this world with a different perspective? Relevant Toastmasters, youth leaders, parents, and all my dear friends, a very good evening to all of you. Good Hello, youth leaders. We all have heard about fish market, vegetable market, open market, and so on. But have any of you ever heard about the death market? No. no? Then, then let me tell you the basic facts about the death market. Number one. Killing by the corporates. Fellow youth leaders, do you know how many people smoke and get trapped into the, into the death market? No. Do you know how these companies manipulate the innocent minds of people, young people, and kill millions of them? They kill millions of them? Do you know how these cigarette companies forget smoking in all media and every social networking site? Do you know how these cigarette companies promote smoking so much so that we cannot escape smoking? They say that their e-cigarettes is here, is not harmful, but it's just a marketing gimmick to make more money and to kill more people. This is the funeral of a dare smoker. It is very obvious. Why don't the governments of the world do anything? Do you know why? Because these cigarette companies are so powerful and so rich that the governments of the world are scared and they won't ban them. Do you know how many chemicals are produced while someone's smoking? Any guess? Over 4,000 chemicals. Yes, you got that right. 4,000 chemicals are produced while a person is smoking. All these deadly chemicals are sure to cause cancer and other health hazards. Number two, killing oneself. Fellow youth leaders, do you know why most of the road accidents happen? Distracted driving. Because of the usage of mobile phones and texting messages while driving are the most major reasons and causes why accidents take place. Uh, your phone is your worst enemy when you're driving. Out of every four cars, one of them is always, is always because of the use of mobile phones. Rash driving. Fellow youth leaders, how many of you know speed thrills, but speed also kills? Why do people resort to such speed driving? Why do they reach the speed limit of 120 kilometers per hour and go beyond 160 to 180 kilometers? Why do they drive so rash? Two years ago, a very tragic incident happened in our Royal Commission Highway, a school bus. Do you have any idea when I'm talking about? Yes. The Al Husan school bus accident. A high speeding car was jumping lanes and hit the rear end of the bus. Its rear end was totally destroyed. Fellow youth leaders, you should see the condition of the bus. You should have seen the condition of the bus on that day, on that very unfortunate day, six beautiful, young, loving children below the age of five passed away with none of their own faults. Why did they have to die like this? If only, if only that driver could have controlled his speed, those six wonderful children would have been alive today, weren't they? Yes. Even teenagers indulge in rash driving. Two years ago, a boy from my school went out, along with his little brother, went out to test drive their new car. But due to rash driving, the car got out of control. And when the car got out of control, the car fell off the port. And they expired on the spot. If, if the driver was a little more careful, if, 
he could have thought about his younger brother and been a little more careful, then they would have been alive today. Wouldn't they? Yes. Number three, war killings. This is the condition of the al Husan bus, my fellow youth leaders. Look at it. Do you think anyone could have survived this? It's a la normal land cruiser car. This is a mini bus. That much speed. Number three, war killings. Fellow youth leaders, war causes so much destruction, so much damage, so much unwanted death. So many people die due to war. Why do these countries fight? What do they get out of it? Why should we get affected by their fight? Why are so many innocent civilians dying? Why? Why do they die? It's because of these countries. In the name, in the name of peace, they say, in the name of peace, we are going to go to war. And in the name of peace, they kill millions of people. The number of military and, military and human casualties. The World War I was 37 million. The number of military and civilian casualties in the World War II were 18 million. Twice than that of the World War I. So many innocent civilians dead. Why? This is... What do they get out of this? Let us together build a new and a bright future. Let us together learn love. Let's together bring a death kneel to the death market. Together, fellow youth leaders, there's only one solution to all this masquerading. That is love. Let us learn how to love each other. Let's create peace. Let us grow, share, and love together. That's what our YLP program is all about, isn't it? Yes. Shall we love each other? Yes. Shall we be the stepping stone to create peace? Yes. Okay. Over to the youth leader of the day, Sanat.